Okay, breathe in. It's the craziest thing, Doc. And out. I put a mouse up my ass, you know, on account of how it feels good. And in again. But after a few minutes, he stopped scrambling around, so I sent my cat in after him. And out. So an hour goes by and my cat's still up there, and I start to get worried. I mean, one more dead mouse in my butt, that's no big deal, but that cat? God, I love that little guy. Plus, he's technically my mom's cat, so... Look over my left shoulder. So I offer to take my neighbor's dog for a walk. And once more over my right shoulder. So I put a few slices of ham and some spicy mustard on the old bee hole and <laughs> sure is shooting, he took the bait. Now, I want you to follow the light. I was hoping the dog would like cause a ruckus and scare my cat into coming out. No such luck. He was up there going bonkers for what seemed like hours, but no cat. Anyway, my neighbor kept asking for his dog back and I was running out of excuses, so. Let me get a look in those ears. That's when I called animal control. Well, two of their best guys went in the old back door around dinner time, and since then I ain't heard as much as a peep. Which makes me worry about the chicks I put up there earlier. I mean the baby chickens, not the three hot girls. So what seems to be the problem? Oh, I got a little uh, tickle in my throat. Here's a prescription for some cough drops. Thanks, Doc. 